Hi guys, I thought I'd just pop on and do a quick unboxing. I wasn't planning to, but this arrived today and I haven't done a lot of videos lately because I just don't get time, but I'm on my lunch break and I've got this, so I figured I will unbox it on camera, get out a little bit of content and hopefully you'll enjoy the unboxing too. So this is a fragrance that I only recently fell in love with. It's not one that's been on my wish list for very long, but it's one I've been wondering about. It's one that's been influenced by another YouTuber who I really, really love watching her channel. She's fantastic. It's actually Cherie from the Top Note, and this is a fragrance that she's often talked about. And, and the way she describes it, I've always wondered about it, and I think she's got fantastic taste. So, Cherie, <laughs> this is your influencing. Um, I got a sample of it, and I really enjoyed it. So, I'll get into what it is. So, it's from the House of Ormond Jane, for a start. Um, and this is a house that I've spoken about, and how much I enjoy their style of fragrance there's a load of samples in there but they're actually from my friend john snow who was kind enough to send me a ton of samples today and i've just whacked them all in there until i get to sniff them all later on i haven't got a tripod so it's gonna be very hard to unbox this so i might have to do it off camera let's have a go let's see if we can do it with one hand um so this is almond woman it's been around for quite some time now um it's not a new fragrance by any means and um i've always wondered about it now i've got almond man which is actually quite similar to Ormond Woman. And I've also got one called Privé, which, again, is actually quite a similar scent to both of those as well. They all run in the same scent profile, scent, scent family, you know. But I really love this one. I've heard that it's much greener, um, and the way it's been described in the past, I wasn't sure if the green elements to this I would enjoy, but since getting a sample and trying it, I really, really enjoy it. I really love it. And I bought this from All Beauty, and they had a really fantastic discount. Now this is actually the big bottle. This is the 120 ml. And they still have a really good discount offer just on Orm and Jane. It's the code, I think it's Orm25. They're offering 25% discount right now. It's still, still valid. So that's fantastic. So I actually got the big bottle for what would have been the same price as the smaller 50 ml. So I'm really happy with this. Let's see if we can get into this with one hand because um, might be able to do it without too much hassle. Maybe cut hand is excuse my cut hand now we've got a cut I'm very clumsy person. Let's get this one up here. Slide this out. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Sleeve off. So it always comes with this very bright orange, that's all their trademark colour, which is actually pretty decent because it does stand out against everything. It's nice to have a colour that's identifiable to the brand. And now I think it's a flip, yeah, we flip it open and we have uh, some paperwork, which uh, has the notes on that. I'm sure I'll read that later on. Let's just get straight into this bottle though, that's what we're excited for. So there we are. So it's actually quite a green quite a green shade actually really quite green I was quite surprised I didn't realize it's gonna be so green <laughs> um, I just love these bottles I absolutely love the bottle design on these they are so classy they're so simple elegant um, unfussy but just you know really nicely done good quality thick glass and really really love them um, so this is Ormond Woman it's a lovely big heavy bottle as well I love the colour of that. It's, um, it looks like some sort of botanical juice, you know? And that's why I like Ormond Jane. They all have this beautiful, understated, classy style where they smell, to me, very botanical, very aromatic, but never strong or heavy. Um, just nicely done, classy, and like I say, just effortless. Right, I want to give this a spray, actually, so I can go off camera and do that, because there's no way I can do that with one hand. Hang on. Okay, so I've just sprayed it on my wrist and up my arm. The little wind blew it all the way up my arm as well. Um, so basically, I can't remember any of the notes. I don't need to because they're in our little, our little envelope thingy. Okay, so cardamom, coriander, grass oil. That's interesting. That's definitely something that I can, I can pick out. A very grassy scent. We've got violet, jasmine, absolute, like hemlock. Um, everything smells natural. Everything in here. It smells absolutely beautifully natural and what i was saying about it, it smells very much like two others i've got um both the almond man and the privé both have this peppery spicy balmy 
aromatic nature they, they all share that same quality this one leans a bit more green with that grass oil but not not too heavy green i liked how um sheree always talks about this one and she made it sound so effortlessly beautiful she talks about the green quality being this really dark green deep green like a forest um and that always scared me a bit because i wasn't sure if that was going to come across as like um like an evergreen or like a you know um fern which i don't really enjoy too much but it's actually not not on me it's still spicy but balmy i like that it's sort of balmy um and aromatic and like a spa scent like a clean lovely spa scent i do get the the lovely woods and not not even in a dry down i feel like i can get all those notes all at once all sort of playing their part and um sort of dancing around each other i think that grass oil is quite noticeable and i think it's just beautifully done in here it, it makes it green without sharp being too sharp or being too sour it's more like um well it's like an oil so you can imagine that's going to feel resinous and um smooth and luxurious and spa like like i say it's something you'd smell when you walk into a really lovely luxurious spa and sheree talks about this being if she could have one signature scent it would be this and i can totally see why it's it's just effortless luxurious clean aromatic um sophisticated beauty and that's how i find a lot of ormond janes are that's why i really resonate with this house i definitely prefer this to talk to Privé that i've already got Privé i find it more spicy and airy in a there's not the green balmy quality it's just about having these spices in the air and i like that this goes more balmy um I have got another Ormond Jane I picked up recently. I haven't mentioned it on my channel before. And it's from the Route de Soy line, the collection that Ormond Jane recently um, launched. Um, and I'm not going to mention which one I bought because I'm hoping to do a full collection um, line review, you know, the whole line review. But I haven't had time to do that yet, but I really want to do that. But again, it's that same organic natural quality that i find in all of the fragrances i really resonate so this is actually now my fifth ormond jane so yeah this is my fifth ormond jane and um, i've got no plans to buy any more i've not smelled any more yet that i that i want or need but um, i've only tried a very small number from the entire house so if i ever go into an ormond jane store i need to be prepared to um be very strict because i can easily fall in love with so many in this line so quite a brief review i guess of ormond woman really happy to have it really really love this fragrance so much so yeah that's my little unboxing for you i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching guys over and out